TalkingHipHop.com, the ReporterNewspaperOnline.com. Listen, before I go any further, I'm going to need you to tell somebody where they can find the show we just recorded. What's that? Prime? Prime Local. That's right. Yes. Prime Local. Prime so local. what they got to do? They got to get to a Roku, Roku Fire Fox, Stick, Amazon, Amazon and the smart your TV. streaming devices, a smart TV. Hey, I like to say smart brothers on a smart TV. Hey, there you go. Hey, listen, smart man. Smart sisters, too. Smart sisters on a yes. smart TV. Hey, listen, real close, real quick, man. So you got a book. You've been, yes. It's been out. It's been doing well and everything. Yeah. Tell everybody who don't know who you are. I know you, Pastor Ukali's wife's yes. uh, wife, who's a dynamic teacher and teaching yes. our youth. I know that. Yes. So you, his wife first. I am a wife mm-hmm. first and a mom of four, mm-hmm. a homeschooling mom, uh, encouraging black families to homeschool our children. The sacrifice is worth it. I am an educator. I am an author. And I'm a lover of people. Of all people. And that's of good to people. know. That's good to know. Now, listen, why is it important to recognize the plight of our people throughout the diaspora. It's important because if we don't ever recognize how we got where we are, where we are, then we'll never be able to plan efficiently to get out of it. Now listen, I'm gonna ask you a question. Yes. Explain that word to me. Because I remember when I I watch a lot of YouTube videos Mm -hmm. and I I study a lot. I study with a dictionary, Mm -hmm. I am not lying to you. And I come across words, and I come up right across words, and I'm like, I'm not, I think I know what that means. But I'm not sure, and I, I, the spirit is telling me somebody yeah. don't know what the uh, diaspora means. Can you explain that, teacher? Uh, the diaspora would be the the world at large, people of color at large across the world. We make up. 75% or so of the world's population are suffering is felt throughout the world. So it's what people of color are dealing with worldwide. So when we say throughout the diaspora, uh, we a lot of people uh, exempt the, the continental Africans when they say that. Have you ever noticed oh, no, that? Yeah, but no. The diaspora, the African diaspora is being very specific, but there's mm-hmm. a global diaspora that represents people of color all over the globe. So... Um, uh, patriarchal. Yes. You know what that means? I know what that means. Explain to people what that means. Patriarchal deals with lineage coming from your father. It deals with identity coming from the father. Matriarchal deals with the mother. Patriarchal is the father. You know, I'm just giving you a quiz. <laughs> Anything else? I'm basically trying to show off so you can yeah. know I ain't stupid. Okay. Anything else? Trying, I know you're brilliant. Because the teacher is here, I'm trying to show off a little bit. Yeah. It's supposed to be your interview, and That's I'm just right. showing my style, That's my right. brains a little bit. So real quick, so so you know, they used to make us eat cornmeal. They used to make us eat a lot of things, and and, and when I say make us eat, I mean that was all that was available or left over. For so us that to that, eat. that slop that we see in some of those depictions of us mm-hmm. eating looked like that slop. Yeah, that was like cornmeal based. Yeah, and um, the most honorable Elijah it Muhammad. It was some of the things that were also fed to animals to keep them strong. So it was stock mm-hmm. and slaves because they wanted longevity mm-hmm. for field work. For service. So Elijah Muhammad said some of that stuff had cornmeal in it, right? Mm-hmm. Which is why we shouldn't be eating cornbread today. Most of our okay. things today are have a corn base. Hmm. Most of the products for sale today have a corn. You base. eat cornbread? We deal with corn and dairy every now and then. It's not a staple in the you, diet. You ever read that book on how to eat to live by um, um, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad? No. I, Don't I, read it. It's going to okay. mess you up. You'll okay. be like, oh, no, what? Every now and then. Not I eat my corn black, and not I my eat black bacon every now and then. You, you, not I my black eyed peas. Every now and then. Well, black eyed peas are probably once a year. Like they're not. Not my not my, yeah. corn, my cornbread ain't did nothing to nobody. There are a lot of things that we find in our diets that were given to us for evil purposes, and we see that we're leading the world in deaths from preventable diseases, all of which trace back to our dietary habits. See, we dropping knowledge you can't yeah, get in the color right absolutely. now. This is what I love. Real quick, tell somebody about the book. The book is Burdens We Bear: Poems and Writings About My Experiences as a Woman of Color. I am, as you can see, a woman of color. There's been a lot of living done in this scan, all of my living. So there's joy in here, the joy of being black, of growing up in a community where I was loved and celebrated. There's also pain in here. All of that goes with it. There's history in here, and there's some reconciliation between cultures expressed in here. Well, how can somebody get it if they're looking for that book? If they're looking for it, it can be purchased at any online bookseller, Amazon, Barnes & Nobles. They can even contact me directly through Facebook and order a signed autographed author copy. Can I do a raffle with one? 
Can you do a raffle? Yeah, you absolutely could. I'm not gonna give you away mine though. I'm not gonna give no, mine. No, yours assigned to you. Right, you right, right. Give that so away. I wanna um right now, um when this thing hits uh mm -hmm. the Facebooklet. Yes. Um somebody can comment yes. on the post after they either read the article. Okay. And a lucky one that I'm gonna pick is gonna get that book. There's no rhythm All to right. who I pick. No rhythm. No rhythm is just gonna be me picking. Listen, Selena, tell your husband I said assalamu alaikum. Hi, sweetie. And tell your husband, I said, thank you for allowing you, even though you're a free woman, I don't want nobody yes. tripping, to come and hang with the brothers. I will tell him. All right. Hey, Love have you. some fun and get something done, girl. You better film me before they kill me, baby. Peace. Oh, yes. Yes.